Hello, my name is Every Bubble, and I sometimes go by my name is Simon, and this is a thoughts video, a thoughts video on a 2016 game, Terraforming Mars. Now, weirdly, I don't normally do reviews of games that old. Normally, I try and do them of games I've played recently. Um, and it's just because my group have gotten into a habit of talking about games we've played in the past, and we played Terraforming Mars a few times, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on it, simply because I don't actually like it. Um... So, Terraform Mars is an interesting game, it is made by Stronghold Games, and you essentially are a company on Mars trying to basically terraform Mars, and you're going to be doing so by playing various cards, which will all add to your economy. Your economy is basically divided up into various resources, some being uh, money, others being power, and then you have resources like iron and a few others, and you basically are going to use those to pay for cards, and then basically use those cards to generate your victory points. It's pretty standard when it comes to board games in terms of how you're going to score. But the game really does not try to do much in terms of its theme, which is obviously a big killer for me since I do like theme. It never really feels like you are terraforming Mars. You're simply just playing cards into a tableau. On your turn, you're simply just going to draw a couple of, a couple of cards. You're going to then pay to keep a couple of cards. And you're going to pay again to then play a couple of cards. And then they're all going to trigger and you're going to get points or resources and that's about it. I want to say there's more to the game, but that really is it. You are occasionally are going to try and play cards in the right way and try and get them first played so that you can then put special buildings on like various forest tiles, or various mountain tiles or water tiles. And there's even like a moon you can get a city on. You're trying to rush to almost place them down because better placement on the board means you'll get more points. And more resources but the trouble being is you kind of don't care you could play the whole game without ever touching the board once almost um and the game has tried to make it feel interactive there are a couple of cards there are cards that can actively harm you or well, not harm you but they can harm other players that people try and go for to try and have interaction there are other cards or at least there are awards which is quite cool which is kind of one of the better features, I guess, of Terraform Mars, where you will pay to have an award be active. What this means is basically as an end goal, which means if the game ends or at a certain point, you will basically be able to claim a milestone or an award if you happen to get whatever that thing is. So having the most towns or having the most technologies or having the most science, so to speak. So you kind of like pay for it and then you have to also try and get it because then everyone else can also go for it as well. And that's quite cool. That's a nice little touch. But that's it when it comes to interactivity. There's not much. This very much feels like a glorified tableau builder. It feels like it's trying to be clever. And it just ends up not being. It's laughable in terms of its components. This is not something you'll... Well, actually, this is something you'll hear almost everywhere you go when talking about terraforming Mars. And that's... The cards just are ugly. The artwork, and there's no been no investment in terms of artwork, it's all public domain stuff, or if there is an artist, the art drifts from style to style to style, that's just terrible. And the components are boring. You have basically plastic components that have been spray painted in these metal colors. And then you have the player boards, which one bump and you'll lose half your resources or know where they went. Like, that's already three blows to a game that isn't very good. There's not much reason to buy Terraforming Mars. It's not an interesting theme, or at least the theme is done poorly. It's not well illustrated in the cards. Oh, I crashed a meteor into the planet. Now the temperature is going to go up by three degrees. Yay. That's it. That's the most theme there is to the game. And it gets worse when you have cards... They just are things like plant bacteria, or be like puppies. And you'll get more points for having more puppy cards, or green cards. That's it. What makes it even worse is that the game doesn't end until you have terraformed the planet. So you have to reach certain milestones. So I think you have to like make the temperature at a certain uh, level. You have to make sure there's enough water percentage on the Earth, and you have to make sure there's enough oxygen. And once you've done those, then you know you, the game will end, and the person who's got the most victory points wins. Um, that's great, except for you can play the game and not have that end condition reached. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen. You will eventually reach it. The trouble is, by the time you're 
thinking the game should be over. It could still be another three or four rounds before you even get to that point. And so you have me who's sitting there being like, okay, I want this game to end. Let me try and just push towards the end point. And that's never a good sign. When you have a game that should end and a person has to try and force it to end, that's never a good sign for a game. Now, there is a thing where you can also draft cards. So instead of this game from a pool of cards, you can kind of draft cards so you have a better idea of what's going to be coming out. But the trouble with that is it adds another hour and a half to the game and the game is really quite long i mean in a four player game you're looking at a three hour your first time playing and that's a hard apple to swallow especially since it is just a tableau building game i'm struggling to find positives for the game simply because it doesn't do anything for me you know me by now i enjoy a game that has a good theme and the theme is well represented in the mechanics doesn't happen here i like a game that looks visually appealing I like a game that has good components, both of which are lackluster here. And I like a game that engages me with my friends. And again, this game doesn't do that. I sit there and just be like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this. What are you doing? Okay, that's cool. It's never engaging. I never care about what my, my friends are playing unless they obviously are playing a meteor to destroy me. And that's not good. Like, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. If you're thinking about p picking up Terraform Mars because it's now on cheap or it's now on sale f at Amazon for whatever, rather do this. Rather go and get Race for the Galaxy or just get Roll for the Galaxy. If you want to get a tableau building game, then get something like Seasons. That's even more fun. That's where you have some beautifully illustrated cards and the gameplay is fun. I look over my collection now and yeah, Roll for the Galaxy is already there and that's looking great. I have Mombasa, which is kind of like a tableau building game. But why would I need to get Terraforming Mars? It's not any doing anything for my collection. I don't think it's a particularly good game. I think there's a core of a very good game there, but it's obfuscated by boring card play, and it's trying to grab your attention, and it's doing so in a really poor manner. It feels like a child that's going, look, 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 when actually it should be trying to show you something amazing. And nothing in Terraforming Mars is amazing, unfortunately. This is a game I have to give a hard skip on. Anyway, if you have enjoyed my thoughts video, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm always make sure to leave at least one video out there uh, each week. And then, of course, if you didn't like this, perhaps you do like Terraforming Mars. Perhaps you are a fan. Then remember to hit that dislike button and also leave a comment. I love to hear from you. I love to hear feedback. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it for me. Bye-bye.